Hi everyone, it's Justine. I often hear that the apple shaped body is the hardest one to style. I disagree and I will tell you why right now. We'll see what your strength is, your weakness. Not one, but two strategies to dress yourself smartly because you do have a lot of options for your body. We'll go through examples of celebrities, who does it right, who doesn't. Last but not least, I'll show you techniques, patterns, shapes, types of clothes that work really well for your body so you get inspired. Let's start. Intuitively, you probably know already what your strength is. It's your arms and your legs, so we want to show them. The part of your body that you might like less is your waist. So we want to work around the waist and try to find strategies to visually correct your weakness, so to say. The first possible strategy for your body type is to drive the attention away from the waist. If you're not feeling comfortable with your waist, raise the attention point up towards the bust and the shoulders. Adding decoration, added emphasis, you want the eye to stay here. The other strategy that you can use is the opposite, actually. You say, I'm going to show you where my waist is because highlighting the waist is always a smart bet and shows your feminine side. On this example here, Katy Perry is not that good. She's choosing the option to raise the attention towards the bust, but it's so obvious. The cleavage is so big and the decoration so in your face that it turns a little bit vulgar. Another famous apple shape is Kate Winslet. You see on this dress, she's doing exactly the right thing. She's wearing a dress that displays her arms because she likes her arms. She's showing her legs because she probably also likes them and it's her asset, so she's really right to do so. And as far as the waist is concerned, she's using a pattern trick. It's cut in the fabric, but it might as well be printed. You would have exactly the same effect of this hourglass illusion. It makes her waist look a lot thinner. You see on the second picture, she got the point, so she did it again. <laughs> Best case, Catherine said to Jones, I love her and I think she has a really good stylist. She's using the strategy of drawing the attention away from the waist um, versus Kate Winslet, right? So she's hiding the waist. She's using asymmetric drapery to fool the eye, so to say. So you couldn't tell where the waist exactly is because you can't compare both sides, so you can't really judge her. That's an optical illusion. She's raising the attention up towards her cleavage and she's showing her really nice legs. Let's come to the concrete closer to device. If your chosen strategy is to raise the attention towards the bust so that people won't look at your waist, then cleavages are your best friends. You can go for a V-neck, a deep V-neck, if you're wearing a simple t-shirt. It can be a scoop neck, and you may go for skin-tight fabrics because that's really your asset and that's where you want the eye to go to. In fact, the more you have going on here at the top, the better. It can be ruching, sequins, decorations, prints, embroidery, appliques, you name it. Um, it can be fabric or it can be texture. It really doesn't matter as long as you have something to look at here. Secret tip for your body shape. It's actually not so easy to wear, but in your case, a bolero is a really good choice. You may show your legs. So skirts in your case can go up to mid thigh. You can really enjoy displaying your legs and dresses with naked arms will look great on you. So you should go and party only in summer. <laughs> Draped fabrics always work well in your case because drapery attracts the eye, always, that's a rule. So next time you go shopping, look for dresses that have the drapery going on at the bust and at the shoulders level. It can be asymmetric. A really good type of clothing is, for example, an empire dress like this one. The waist is really high, the décolleté, the cleavage is in highlight and you have something cute going on at the shoulders. It doesn't have to be a wedding dress, of course. You can find similar shapes in ready to wear just as easily. Now, what if you chose the second strategy, which was to go for the waist, highlight it, define it, play with your femininity. Here's what you can do. This might now sound like a contradiction for your body type, but it's not. Use belts, place aim up at the level of the natural waist, the same way as when you take your measurements. If you've seen this video on my channel in the same playlist, it will totally change your proportions. Try it. Then you are the most qualified body type of all five to wear slim and skinny pants. Yay! If you want to wear a jacket or a vest, then a really long one and loose at the waist, open on the front. Like this one, which is a knitted vest, that's a really smart bet and it shows your arms, so it's perfect. Generally speaking, you can, of course, also wear 
regular clothes, why not? If you go to a normal shop, um, look for sweaters, for example, that are black with a print on it. Typically, sweaters from rock bands, <laughs> because the black makes everybody look thinner. And then the print in the middle makes your waist optically look narrower as well. I kept the secret weapon, the absolute best shape for your body type for the end. It's a peplum shape. It was made for apples. If you now feel better equipped to style your body shape and if you learned something in this video, thumb up. Thank you very much. If you want to compare your shape with other types and see what their strategies were, here are symbols you can click on. It will take you straight to the video. If you're watching on a smartphone, if you're watching on a computer or a laptop, then find the link in the info box below this video as well. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you very soon again for new body types that will be released and other things, of course. Take care. Bye-bye.